And as the violent invasion of Ukraine continues, the human loss is adding up, and so is the loss of freedom in a country trying to distance itself from its own totalitarian past. Our Tim Gordon spoke with a Reed College professor with strong connections to Ukraine to provide some context on the crisis. The images of war are awful. The toll Russia's attack is taking on Ukraine is devastating. Reed College sociology professor Alexander Herzog has friends all over Ukraine, including its second largest city, Kharkiv. And they've been under a constant bombardment by missile strikes for the better part of a week. And it's truly terrifying because not only are people uh, under threat of death, um, the food supply is running out. Herzog grew up in New York, her Ukrainian-speaking family forced from Eastern Europe by World War II. She has studied Ukraine society extensively. This is a very, very hard time for all of us. And um, at the same time, I want to say that uh, this did not surprise me at all and that it's uh, been come going in this direction for some time. Russia's aggression is ongoing, now greatly intensified by an all-out invasion. And along with the lost lives and broken buildings is the damage to a free society, striving to be everything Russia is not, open, inclusive, and democratic. Russia has actually systematically destroyed its own civil society. And so we actually have an idea of what it will look like in Ukraine when we look at neighboring Russia and we see what has happened to venerable human rights organizations. But Herzog says Ukrainians are proving Putin's ways are not welcome and the civilized world is with Ukraine. It's really a, a, a wonderful thing to um, hear so much, uh, so many expressions of support and to see how much uh, attention Western media has been devoting to the toll that this has had on Ukrainian citizens. Tim Gordon, KGW News.